Welcome. So today we are talking about the ancient secrets of healing, happiness, and prosperity. How to have unlimited energy, how to achieve true balance, and how to enlighten your spirituality. My name is David Wong, and I'm a best-selling author. If you haven't got my book yet, you can go to Amazon and get the book called Life of Chi, Science of Life Force. And in the book, I talk about my life story of how I was able to heal myself with just using frequency technologies. I had a disease, an illness that was incurable for 10 years. And I suffered from it every day of my life. It was in pain. I was uh, in chronic fatigue every day of my life. For 10 years, that was the way it was. But until I discovered energy technologies and frequencies, I've, ever since I discovered that and started using it and creating my own technologies, uh, I, my life was completely changed because in 90 days I was able to heal myself completely from my disease that I had for 10 years and everything was completely transformed from that point on. I had no more pain and I had no more symptoms from the disease, my digestive disorder. And I had so much energy and focus and clarity and, and inspiration and motivation that I was able to build a multi-million dollar company that spans the globe and with uh, thousands and thousands of customers and people's lives who's been transformed now because of what I did. So thank you for all of you who have been supporting me all this time and we have a lot more in store and we have a lot more exciting things happening. Yes, also in my book I talk about Qi energy and the science behind it, the science behind Qi energy and the science, a lot of these people have uh, discovered over the last hundred years and it's a real eye-opener about what Qi energy really is because many of us think um, Qi energy is just some kind of thing you feel and only some people can feel it and some people don't feel it and it's really whether you believe in it or not it only works when you believe it but that's not how it works Qi energy is a, a scientific fact so one of the subtitles here says uh, Qi Ancient myth, now scientific fact. So it's no longer a myth. Qi energy is not a myth anymore. We have scientific data that can show Qi energy can affect how your brain works, affect how your body works, and even help you to unlock very specific special states of, of mind. Allow you to manifest things in your life, allow you to achieve things, accomplish things, and, and uh, create things in your life that normally you wouldn't be able to do. So I was talking yesterday about how the Egyptians built the pyramid. Actually, we don't even know if Egyptians built the pyramid. They think that other people before the Egyptians came to Egypt built the pyramid. So we don't know if the Egyptians actually built, built the pyramid. But the point is, why was it built? For a long time, people thought that it was just a place to bury the pharaoh. But it's not a tomb because there's no hieroglyphs in the pyramid. So the pyramids, the angles and the structure and the tubes inside of it are all designed in a way to match up with the stars in the sky and to synchronize with the movement of the stars. And it's so precise, um, the, the, the base of the pyramid, the lengths, the angles and the rooms all the geometries are so precise that you have to know the speed of light in order to build the pyramid the, the way it is in the position that it is right now. So how do they know the speed of light back thousands and thousands of years ago down to the, down to the meter per second when we supposedly only discovered the speed of light only a couple hundred years ago or a hundred years ago? How did they know this intelligence thousands and thousands of years ago? So why did they build the pyramid? Well, I think, and a lot of people also agree, that they built the pyramid as a tool or a technology to raise the consciousness of mankind. If not only the people around the pyramid or the people who were in the pyramid that did the ceremonies, but also the entire land and even the entire earth. Because the pyramid, with its geometry and the shape, it created a resonance, it created a frequency that created Qi energy. 
And also the pyramids are built in a special location on Earth that there's a very focused flow of qi energy. We call those ley lines. And um, the Chinese use this a lot. And even the Mayans and Stonehenge, they're all on ley lines on Earth. They're on very special yin and yang intersections of ley lines that tra uh, transverse throughout the whole Earth. So the pyramids were built because they were used as a tool and a monument to raise the spiritual resonance or to raise the consciousness of humankind. Now, people always ask me, well, do you need chi coils to meditate? Well, of course you don't. Do you need chi coils to become spiritually more enlightened? Of course you don't. Do you need chi coils to heal yourself? Of course you don't. Because you can meditate, you can use energy healing. We have, you can use qigong and you use reiki, whatever energy healing method you use. And you can heal a lot of uh, issues in the body and also in the mind. So when people say, do you need chi coils to do it? You don't need it. But same goes for the pyramids. If, they, if everybody could just meditate back in the Egyptian times, and achieve higher consciousness, why would they need to build the pyramid? If everybody could achieve higher consciousness, but was just plain meditation. Well, the reason it was is that it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to just plainly meditate to achieve higher consciousness that they wanted to achieve. That's why they built the pyramids. So that you would, so that me, mankind would have a little boost, a lot of help with this technology to increase and enhance the consciousness and awareness and spirituality of the, of mankind. So that's one of the reasons why chi coils are so am amazing is because these are tools that will accelerate your consciousness and accelerate your spiritual growth. Do you need them? Of course not. Do we need pyramids? You don't. Do we need churches? We need all these other tools. You don't need them, but they help a lot. And without them, it would just take you a lot longer to achieve the levels of consciousness that you want to achieve. So there's many people using these for meditation and they say just five minutes with this is the same as like an hour or two hours of deep meditation. Why? Because it is a technology that tunes your brain waves for you. It's like an automatic meditating device. It helps you meditate automatically on autopilot. It's like the auto, uh, meditation shortcut. So we're talking about the ancient secrets of healing. Everything's frequency, vibration, and energy. Everything in the universe. Everything from your own body, every cell in your body, your DNA, your nervous system, your brain actually operates all on frequencies. Even your cells and every atom has a frequency, right? Every atom with the electron spinning around it has a frequency. So everything is just a number or a wave. And scientifically speaking, we're not solid matter. We're just wave part, wave. We're just waveforms. We're just frequencies. Okay. If you study quantum science, um, whether an electron or an atom becomes a solid particle or a wave depends on the observer. Depends on whether it is being observed or being, or if somebody as a consciousness is aware of it. So it changes depending on the observer. So the same thing goes with your health. How do you have superhuman health? How do you have awesome health? How do you have superior health and your optimal health for your body and your mind? Well, first understand that frequencies is, is what is the underlying energy that's affecting you at all times. So whether you're aware of it or not, your body and your mind, your brain, your nervous system is being affected by frequencies. So you look at cell phones, we know the frequencies of these is 5 million Hertz or 5G, right? So just imagine there's these frequencies knocking on your brain at 5 million times per second. So what does your brain do? 
your brain goes, what the heck is this frequency? What's this thing happening? What's this thing I'm experiencing? And it shuts down because it's foreign and it's not natural. What happens when your mind shuts down? What happens when your cells shut down? Is it starts to generate disease. It starts to die. It starts not, it starts to close up and not refresh its nutrients. And it starts to not detox. So it starts to get toxic inside the cells because it's closed up. So a lot of what we suffer from today, a lot of people suffer from uh, like mental ailments such as anxiety, worry, PTSD, traumas, uh, sleep issues, pain, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, and heart problems. Majority of that is because of the frequencies that you're exposed to every day. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to change that frequency. We need to reprogram that frequency or replace that frequency using either the sound frequencies that you're hearing to right now or electromagnetic frequencies that you can use generate with uh, devices like the Chiquos. And what that does is now you reprogram and reharmonize your body and your mind and your brain so that those frequencies are healthy for you and you become the best version of you and your mind gets tuned back to those really healthy, really powerful frequencies that uh, give you extreme focus, extreme alertness, energy, health, and abundance. So that's the secret. The ancient secrets, they were able to do this through meditation. They were able to do this through chants. They were able to do this with breathing exercises, Tai Chi, yoga, all these internal arts. By, using, by calming the body and by controlling a master body, they're able to master the mind. If you master what's external, you also master what's internal. If you master what's internal, then the external will be also mastered. So there's this balance of yin and yang. So the ancients knew that and understood that, is that you have to control your nervous system, control your heart rate even, your breath rate, and that in turn controls your thoughts and your mind and your consciousness. And from doing that, they were able to create or generate this frequency throughout the entire body and the mind that allowed them to self-heal, allowed them to even unlock superhuman abilities and allow them to increase their intuition and boost their luck. So that's what the ancients did to achieve healing and also happiness and prosperity. How did they achieve happiness and prosperity? Well, one secret of being happy is to be grateful for everything that you have. You know, in uh, Western culture, even in the American um, you know, saying it says the the pursuit of uh, the pursuit of um, freedom and happiness, uh, liberty, right? Liberty, the, the pursuit of happiness, freedom, and liberty, something like that. But basically, it's the pursuit. That's the key word. So in Western culture, um, the focus on is on chasing, it's on pursuing, is on going after things which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, those, because of that motivation or that drive, that's why it creates a lot of um, progress in society. But then in the Eastern cultures, there's not much of a pursuit. That's not the focus. Eastern culture is more about just a state of being or what you are and who you are on the inside rather than what you do on the outside. So it's more of a, of being rather than a state of becoming. Does that make sense? So instead of a state of becoming, it's a state of being, what you are and who you are. So when you have that kind of mindset and you're not chasing after things to become better or become bigger or grander, you have the mindset that you know you have everything you need. You have everything that you need in your life. And when you have that mindset, then you become a lot more happier because you're not thinking about all the things that you don't have. 
you think about what you have and you're thankful for it. Be thankful, you know, learn to be thankful for what you have. Think about what you have right now. Think about your hands. You know, most people have their hands and their fingers and just imagine and just be wondrous about how amazing our hands are and what, what we can do with our hands and our fingers. So many things we can do with it. Are, are your eyes, are your ears and nose and mouth and um, your skin, right? You can ha you have all of these senses, senses that you can use to observe and enjoy the beauty around you. And, or if you have friends or if you have family, just think about how lucky you are to have close friends or close family. Or even if you're um, breathing right now, just be happy and that you're breathing and that you're alive and that you are experiencing this life that you're going through. So when you go back down to the basic things, as in just your life, your life force that you have and your senses, you realize that it's so amazing just to be alive. And, and then you can go outside and go to a, go for a walk, go to a park, go to a beach, and just be amazed at all the wonder of creation, all the wonder of the mountains and the clouds and the stars and the moon and the sun. These things that we have around us all the time, but we take for granted how amazing, how powerful, and how majestic these things are. That's one secret of happiness, is being able to go back down to the simplest things in life and be thankful and be grateful and realize how majestic and how wondrous life is by itself. Even when you're suffering, like you may be suffering, you may be even having you know sickness, you may be fi suffering financially, you may be have a hard time financially, you may be suffering from a recent loss of someone, or you may have stress in your life, but that's also part of the of the wonder. That's also part of the mag majestic creation and um, part of the human experience. So when you can take a step back and look at yourself, look at your life as if you were watching a movie, then you realize that, hey, you're just a player in this movie. And this is just part of the movie where, you know, the character is, has to go through a transformation, right? Like, think about your favorite movie, let's say like Forrest Gump or something, or a more recent movie, anything that you want. If the character just starts off and doesn't transform, and doesn't have to go through a challenge, doesn't have to uh, change themselves or become some kind of, or, or have something happen to the character that, that challenges or makes them grow, then the movie's not interesting anymore. Right? So think of yourself, if you're going through a challenge in your life, then just look at it as if, as if it was a movie and you'll realize, hey, this is just part of movie. It's just part of my consciousness. And I'm the one observing this and I'm the one that's creating this. And this only, and it's not really real because everything's a frequency. Everything is actually an illusion. And I'm the one that is actually consciously creating this in my mind. Um, so that's, that's a beginning part. And then you take the perspective, you start to take perspective of what reality really is and what life really is. And then you begin to um, find happiness there within the circumstance that you, that you have. Another way to find happiness is to, to, to get that perspective is through meditation. Because when you meditate, and you, if you get to a certain point in meditation, you'll realize that we are so connected we are so much more connected than even scientists believe we are. For example, you're connected to me right now, not just through this TikTok live or this video, but we're all connected in a um, in a supernatural or, or um, on a much higher level, on a universal consciousness level. The universal consciousness field, people call it the zero point field, or the um, the life force field, or the um, or just the field is is the energy field or the matrix that we're all connected to. It's all connected to the past, the present, and the future, and we all have access to this through our through our minds and through our consciousness. And when you can get to a certain level of meditation, you're be able to access this consciousness. And when you do that, you will realize and you will start to experience that you are a part of a much bigger whole than you ever imagined. 
And when that happens, then um, you realize that you are connected to everything and everyone. And whatever is happening to you in your life is just one expression of life. And when you open up your mind to that, and you start to experience that connectedness, then you realize that whatever you feel, touch and feel, is just temporary. And everything else is eternal. It's infinite. And you're part of that infinite. And you have that infinite power inside of you. And you can access that infinite power whenever you want. So why do technologies help with that? Because it helps you to get into those spiritual consciousness states in meditation to help you connect to that universal consciousness, to help you connect to that higher power. And we have actual frequencies specifically for this, for enhancing your intuition, opening your third eye, opening your crown chakras, and to help you to uh, even uh, activate some of your psychic abilities so that you can be more in tune with this supernatural universal consciousness that is around all of us. So that's the secret to happiness. How about prosperity? So today I'm talking about the ancient secrets of health, happiness, and prosperity, right? So we talked about health, we talked about happiness, and what about prosperity? How do you become prosperous? Well, prosperity comes from within, but also prosperity obviously, you know, is having a lot of money, all the money that you need, having lots of healthy, uh, happy relationships, having a healthy home and a, um, an abundant life, lots of joy and happiness, right? Uh, we all want that. But um, so how can we achieve the prosperity that you want in your life? Well, one major thing is to unlock that code, unlock that prosperity code. So a lot of times we're just one frequency away from having the life that we want, or having the life that is, is the optimal and the best for you. You're just one frequency away. Why is that? Because once again, your life is basically determined by your frequency. If you have a very negative frequency, bad luck, you're going to attract bad things to you. Bad luck, bad circumstances, bad people, um, bad opportunities. And then your life is going to, and it's going to manifest into a very negative situation that's going to, you know, produce a lot of stress or, you know, bad uh, circumstances for you but if you change your frequency to something that's pros prosperous something that's auspicious then automatically you start to attract good things into your life you start to attract good people good opportunities um money and luck and and um positive vibrations happiness and joy it's all just a frequency so you're just one frequency away from that and if you can find what this frequency is, then that's all you need. And it can literally just program you for success, just like what I did for myself. I was able to use these frequencies to program myself for success so that I don't actually have to chase it that much. Now things come to me, right? You, you don't want to be going and chasing and working and using so much effort and pursuit, like the pursuing, pursuing the happiness and the justice and liberty or whatever that is right you want to be in a state of prosperity and just have things magnetized to you and just attract things to you automatically like which one would you like like do do you want to pursue or do you want to attract which one would you like to do most of us want to attract right much easier much less effort so i'm going to show you how you can attract rather than pursue and very soon, I'm going to show you um, an opportunity where you can attract and being able to create prosperity without much effort. So very little effort, the minimum effort for the maximum prosperity. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you follow this channel and make sure you um, watch out for what I'm going to be uh, showing you very soon. So that's the secret of prosperity. It's just as frequency. It's easier than you think. Okay, people th think, oh, you gotta do mindset, you gotta set goals, you gotta change this, neuro-linguistic programming, you gotta go to get a coach, get a mentor. Yeah, all those things help. But all it comes down to is just having 
the uh, frequency, the prosperity frequency, just one frequency that you need to create the prosperity in your life. Okay, or one set of frequencies that are like connected together. Like our abundance frequencies we have for inner circle, we have the um, money attraction frequencies in inner circle, we have the business success ones in inner circle. So we have about 37 different frequencies in inner circle, which are our most powerful frequencies. And um, it's only for inner circle members. Uh, so a few things I want to talk about also is how do you have unlimited energy? We can get energy different ways, right? We can get energy by eating, like drinking a lot of coffee or drinking or taking supplements that enhance your energy levels and or getting rest. But there's another way of getting energy is through pulse electromagnetic frequencies. So if you use chi coils, if you already have them or use my chi energy AI or even the red light therapies, basically it's giving you frequencies that automatically boost your energy. So that's one of the top things that people experience. There's top four things that people experience right away after using the coils. And the first thing is better sleep. Okay, much better sleep. People who have had insomnia problems, can't fall asleep or have very poor quality of sleep. They sleep their sleep is just like out of this world. It's just, just night and day. Number two is meditation. The meditation, the depth of the meditation goes through the roof. They're able to meditate in five minutes what they used to meditate in an hour. And number three, pain management. They're able to um, manage and get rid of the pain that they had, the chronic pains that have, they have been suffering from for years and years and years. We actually had someone who had chronic pain for, what is it, 30 years back pain. And uh, it was on pain meds every day. They didn't want to do surgery or maybe they did surgery and still had a problem. But by using my coils, their pain went away in two months and then their life was completely changed after that. And the fourth thing is, uh, what is it? Their sleep, um, meditation, pain, and energy. So the fourth thing is energy. They're able to turn this on and get so much more energy. The fatigue goes away, the stress goes away, and they have just all this internal energy that they don't know where it's from. And they can like go out and then like get everything done, do all the household work, go to work, you know, be focused, be super uh, productive. So those are the four main things. Any book you re recommend or reading on prosperity, you know, there's very standard ones like Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't read that, you should read it. Uh, Life with Chi is good too. You know, The Magic of Thinking Big. Lots of good, lots of books out there. So that's how you have unlimited energy. It's just by using technologies like these that give you the energy that you need. It, it basically transforms how your cells work, gives it more energy production. They call it ATP production. So our cells generate something called ATP. It's like a currency for your body. It gets transferred, it gets accumulated, it gets used. And without this currency, you would have very little energy. So what pulse electromagnetic frequencies do, it's been proven that it enhances the production of this currency in your body. So it creates more of it. And now your body can have the currency it needs to perform all the processes that it needs to, uh, to perform. So everything happens a lot smoother. There's less drag on your energy levels. And now you just have an abundance of energy. So that's how you have unlimited energy in your life. Very simple. Just use the technology of this. How do you boost your luck? How do you boost your luck? Well, remember I told you that luck is not just something that lucky people have or something that unlucky people don't have is actually a frequency. So some people think that you must be born lucky or you just be natural, naturally lucky. And that is true to the point because some people would just have a better frequency. Some people are born in a special time of the year that gives them a better frequency for attracting good things. And it's true because as the planets move around, the stars move around, they all emit energy and a force and a frequency. So depending on when you're born, those different frequencies actually affect our planet. We can measure the effects of these stars and planets when they align in different, different times during the year. So when people are, when you're born, you have a special frequency and that's your astrological sign. And everybody's pretty much different, right? Depending on the time, where you're born and when you're born, uh, when you're born, where you're born, right? And the time. So based on that, yeah, it's true. Some people are luckier than others because some people have a luckier frequency. Some people are unlucky. 
But the good news is that you can actually train your luck and you can actually program your luck. Why? Because it's all about frequency. Astrology is all frequency. It's all about the patterns and the angles uh, and the distances of these uh, celestial objects that are going around in space. It's all just the frequency. So if you can figure out what frequency is the best for you, or that is the most auspicious or most prosperous, pros prosperous for you, like I said, you just need that one frequency and it will automatically give you the luck, uh, your best luck or create the best version of you. Once again, using just coils like this, it can, it can supplement and do what astrology can do. It can give you the luck. And all it is is just getting your brain into those brainwave states that give you more intuition. So some people say that luck is just being aware. I mean, some people say that luck is where opportunity and preparedness meet, right? So you prepare for something, opportunity comes, they meet together, and that's where luck is created. Well, I say that that's not the full story. Luck also needs awareness. For example, let's say there's a $100 bill on the ground and you're walking down the street. Now, if you didn't look down and didn't see the $100 bill, were you lucky or not? You don't even know that was there. So there's no luck ever that ever um, occurred, was there? Awareness is really the key to luck because around us, we have an abundance of opportunities, money and success and prosperity. It's just that a lot of times we're not even aware. We're walking down the street and there's hundreds of dollar bills on the ground and we're not even looking and we're not even aware it's there. So luck really is the awareness. So how do you get that awareness? Well, with meditation and with getting your intuition much higher, your awareness expands. And when you can awareness expands, you can unlock those superhuman mental states that allow you to connect to superhuman higher intelligence. So not only are you just relying on your intellect and your experience, you're actually connecting to a higher level of intelligence. It's the same intelligence that gives you ideas when you are waking up in the, middle, in the morning or when you're taking a shower and taking a bath. Those aha, aha moments that you experience that give you those supernatural insight or supernatural solution to a problem that you've been wanting to solve. That's what I call intuition. And they've just done studies on successful entrepreneurs and they found that their intuition, their precognition or the ability to guess at what's going to happen, like something as simple as a card game, being able to guess what the next card is, being able to guess at what the next number is going to be, their chances of getting it right are actually much higher than people that are not as successful. So if you want to be successful, raise your intuition. That's going to give you the extra advantage that most people don't have. Because actually, statistically, 90% of people are not natural alpha brainwave thinkers. Most people are always in the beta brainwave state. Only 10% of the population have a natural alpha brainwave. So those are the 10% that become leaders. Those are the 10% that become entrepreneurs. And those are the 10% that become successful and more abundant and more prosperous. So how do you get that brainwave? Well, like I said, you can meditate, you can be born with it, or you can use technologies like this to program from the outside and tune your brainwaves automatically so that's automatically in that alpha state. And when you just turn it on, your brain gets into that alpha state and then it unlocks your intuition, it activates it, and now you are more aware. Your eyes are open and you're more aware of these uh, opportunities. You're more aware of that $100 bill on the ground. Now you can pick it up, right? Now you can see more of these opportunities that you can just pick up off the ground. And it comes to a point where that your frequency is so, so strong that $100 bills will start flying at you, okay? I mean, that's figurative, right? But what I mean is that, um, opportunities start flying at you, start coming to you, and you start attracting good things to you. And that's what's happening to me uh, right now and to a lot of people that are using our uh, abundance frequencies and using our technology. How do you know what frequency getting the money is? You don't need to know because we have it. We have frequencies for money. All you have to do is just get them. Explain going to a casino and don't win. Well, you probably, I don't know. I have no idea why 
you don't win in the casino. Well, do you win sometimes? Just think about when you win and um, see what kind of frequency you have at that time. So you probably need, need a better frequency. You probably have to have um, better skills that helps, helps too. But also, I'm not saying that we're going to rely on luck 100%. Well, I'm saying that luck is what separates the ultra successful from just the regular people, right? And um, and having the, the these special brain waves and special frequencies is what separates the ultra successful, ultra ultra prosperous people from just the regular people. So I'm not saying that you don't use your skills or you don't use your intellect or you don't use your your experience. Those things are very um, necessary as well. But what's going to separate you from everybody else who has experience and intellect and and um, skills, right? Because everybody has it. Everybody has this information. How do you give yourself that extra boost and an extra leverage? We have the technology for that. What is the sound I'm playing? So these are some of the inner circle frequencies. This is this is the money mantra number four that I'm playing right now. Uh, we have a whole series of them. We have like 37 frequencies, close to a hundred of these um, frequencies in our inner circle. And uh, this is what I use. So we have the frequency for money. You don't, need, you, don't, you don't need to know what it is. We have it. You just need to get it from us. Are there frequencies to correct poor eyesight? So today uh, I'm talking most about prosperity and abundance. And, but I also haven't talked about some frequencies that we also have. We have 10,000 frequencies call them the RIFE frequencies, right? And we have an app for that. We have a we have a console or tablet with all these frequencies and you can type in anything you want. Let's say diabetes, let's say eyes, okay? You ask for eyes. So I'm gonna type in eyes, eyes. And then you can see there's eyes, diapopia, um, glaucoma, improved eyes, bifocals, cataracts, droopy eye, infections, nerve, strain, swollen. So we have lots of frequencies for eyes uh, in, in our, and then you can use these. So yes, you can use these with our devices. So this comes with a system. If you get a Chico uh, system, you can get the tablet included um, or you can get it not included. So, but included, a lot of people prefer that because then you, you don't have to use their phone or computer to use the frequencies. They can just use this. So how do, that's how you boost your luck. Does that make sense? Next is how do you achieve true balance? So today, balance is such a understated or underappreciated state of mind, right? Because in, like I said, in Western culture, it's all about the pursuit. You gotta chase, 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 go, 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 work, 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 and then hustle, hustle, hustle to get what you want, right? Well, well that's not balance, just, just very out, outwards and very external. And um, yeah, it may get you what you want, but then a lot of times you lose more than what you gain. That you work so hard to gain something, to get something, and you like go at it at full force. And when to get it, you realize that you actually lost a lot more than you actually gained. For example, you sacrifice your relationships or you sacrifice your health in order to make more money or you sacrifice um, peace or you sacrifice your own morals and your ethics and you lie and you cut corners just to get ahead a little bit more. All right, so there's no balance there. And what happens when you do that is you have a very un imbalanced life, which also causes not just imbalances in your life, but will cause imbalances in yourself, in your body and cause imbalances in your, in your health. You can literally cause imbalances in your homo hormones, and in your nervous system, in your respiratory, and your cardiovascular system, when you don't have balance on the outside, you're not gonna have balance on the inside. So if you wanna achieve true balance, you need to balance internal with what's external. You need to balance the aggression and the outward and the chasing with the passive, with the, with the being and the attracting. Okay, so when you have both, then you have a you have a good balance. Um, so, for example, what are the what are the yins and the yangs? Well, there is the external and the internal. Yang is the masculine, which is external. Yin is the feminine, which is internal. 
So, for example, we have the dark, um, like the moon, it is yin, and the sun and light is yang. So neither of them are good or, or bad by themselves, they're just general concepts. But if you can achieve a balance in your life of the yin and the yang, then you have true balance and true happiness. Okay? It goes the other way too. If you have too much passivity in your life, if you're always just waiting for things to happen, and you just very, um, just um, not putting any effort into what you're doing, then that could also be an imbalance. You can be too passive, and that may be leading to uh, poor energy or depression in your life. So you need to find that balance of the outward and the inward. Find that balance between relaxation and action. Okay, But I think in today's culture, we're so focused on the outward and the yang that I think we need a lot more yin. And there's less people with you know not enough yin than there's people who are not there's less people who are not not enough yang than people who are not enough yin. So we need to do more relaxing. We need to do more passivity. We need to do we need to do more being and being more calm, and being more sen sensitive rather than uh, sensitive to what is it's inter uh, internal, sensitive to your intuition, to what you feel inside your emotions, rather than just what's happening on the outside. How do you enlighten your spirituality? Well, I already talked about all those things. So all those things that I talked about today, they all help to raise your spirituality, to enlighten yourself, your health, improving that, improving your meditation, improving your brainwave states, your mind states, having balance. All those things help to enlighten your spiritual self, help you to connect to a higher power. And like I said, all those things are based on frequency. Your health, your mind, your spirituality is also based on frequency. So the shortcut to all of this, and my secret, is using technologies like this to transform every aspect of your life that I just discussed today. And it's really that simple. You're just one frequency away from changing every aspect of your life for unlocking the healing in your body. Unlocking that happiness, unlocking that prosperity in your life, unlocking better luck, more energy, more abundance, and finding that true balance. You're just one frequency away. It's that simple. And people say, well, isn't that too simple? Well, do you want to make it complicated? I think these days there's too much information and too much complexity already. So why don't we just focus on something simple? Just use frequencies. Just use frequencies and just go along and go about with your life as normal. And then naturally and automatically, you're going to start changing yourself from the inside. And when you change yourself in the inside, your thoughts will start becoming more clear. You're going to remove that negative energy from your environment and also from the inside. You're going to start detoxing all the negative frequencies from you and start to cleanse yourself and wash yourself with these positive beneficial frequencies. And when that happens, you realize you start to become a different person. Everything changes about you. Um, you're gonna clear, cleanse all the toxins in your body. I mean, people look at me and they, you know, they think I'm really young. How old do you think I am? Any guesses how old I am? Yeah, so most people think I'm in my late 20s, but I'm 42. So most people think that I'm a lot younger than I look and I have a lot more energy than somebody my age. And the reason for that is because I was able to cleanse out all the toxins in my body. And I was able to cleanse out all the negative emotions, all the negative traumas that were stuck, uh, stuck emotions, um, traumatic experiences from the past, you know, being hurt or being uh, cheated or things like that. Those are all gone. And um, now with all that cleansed out, now I just look forward and I am very positive every day. And, or even if, when things happened that make me stressed out or things that happened that would normally make me depressed or make me feel down, um, I bounce back very quickly, especially just from playing a frequency. I can it's basically just like switching it off and just turning a knob and everything just changes at that point. It's like your brain is becomes wired 
for positivity and your brain becomes wired for success and for prosperity. Uh, you can be the opposite, right? And then many people have disorders, mental disorders, because their brain is actually wired for depression or they're wired for anxiety and sometimes as bad as suicide, right? And they become um, mental illnesses because their wi brains become wired so it's easy and their brains become programmed to experience those emotions and thoughts. But you can also rewire your brain so that you can do the opposite. You can rewire your brain so that it becomes optimistic, prosperous, abundant, happy, joyful, open. It's just a frequency. That's all you need. Okay? Forget all the psychotherapy. You just need a frequency. Okay? This is the future. You don't need all this, what the conventional medicine tells you. You don't need what all this pills and surgeries and injections or all these invasive methods anymore. Very soon, or even now, uh, a lot of the alternative medicine doctors, integrative doctors, they're using frequency devices now, just like these. Actually, we're doing a clinical trial with, um, with my coils, one of some of the larger coils here. We're doing clinical trials. And uh, very soon, we, we've done trials already with the cheek coils. We've done a study and showing them scientifically that we improve sleep, anxiety, depression, and um, mindfulness, and pain, we have a we've shown um, statistically, um, scientifically that they work. Now we're going to go in the next step and do even a bigger, bigger study with our larger coils in a in a clinic. That's happening, and um, and now more of the medical community is starting to embrace frequency technology, just like the ones that I have here. And they're when I show them the cheek coils, uh, I have like these. I have a surgeon that's a heart surgeon, and he loves my cheek coils. And um, he's like, this is really amazing how this small little thing can do so much. So he's really amazed. And uh, a lot of other doctors are finding it very amazing too, with like how much this little thing can do. Like it just fits in the palm of your hand. Like normally they have equipment, cost them twenty, thirty thousand dollars, sometimes fifty thousand dollars, and it fills up a whole room in order to do these uh, therapies on people, right? But now they say, wow, you can just do, you can get this much results with just a little thing like that, and they're so so amazed at that. Okay, if you subscribe to Qi Energy AI, it's silent, subtle Qi Energy broadcast. Okay, so there's no sound. It uses a completely different technology than Qi coils and sound therapy. It's going to change the world. That's right. It, it is already changing the world, and it's going to change the world even more. Roxana says, uh, was planning to someone WhatsApp about how you're talking about luck, and suddenly I hear you. Amazing. And you can use it to wear on your neck. So you can just attach the chico like this. So this one will plug in to the wireless transistor. You can put this both of this in your pocket. You can wear this on your neck. And now you have a portable personal transformation device. Okay, this is Bluetooth and wireless. It's connect to your phone or connect to the tablet or your computer, as long as you have Bluetooth. So the frequency you're playing on that device, this will uh, connect to it and then uh, it will send the energy to the coil and the coil will send the energy to your body and everything around your body. So I was also, also talking about um, this yesterday is that Chico is one of the only technologies that can affect more than one person at once. So you know there's many of these devices you can get, let's say it's a red light therapy or let's say that it's a uh, like a TENS machine or a Healy. Uh, well you need to connect it to your skin so only one person can use it at a time. The new thing with the Chico is that these are so powerful, they create a field so powerful that it uh, has an AOE of about 20 feet, 10 to 20 feet, depending on which one you get. The larger one, 20 feet, is the Chico Max. You can see how big this is in comparison to the to the Chico 3 in the width and the height of it. Even if you have your partner sitting next to you and you're using this, they are getting the therapy, whether they like it or not. So if you need your partners to relax more, get in a better mood, have more energy, um, just be a, you know generally better, then then just use chicos while you're next to him or her, right? Just say, oh, I'm just using it for myself, but really, you know that it's actually affecting the other person too. They just don't know, right? <laughs> so that's the neat thing about it, and also everybody in the house will benefit from it. If you get our uh, larger um, Qi auras, Qi coil auras, like the like the large one there, we actually have a smaller version, 14 inch version that starts for, uh, for about $3,000, but then it can cover the whole house. 
So, uh, and then these larger versions, these start at about 8,000, they cover a uh, 3,000 square foot house, so even bigger. You can affect everybody in the house, including your pets, your animals, uh, even your plant life in the house will get energy. Qi energy is the best. Used to practice Tai Chi. Oh my God, all that energy. That's right. Yeah. So if you do Tai Chi, then you know exactly what this um, technology can do. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure when you practice Tai Chi after your Tai Chi, you feel a lot more balanced. You feel like you have more energy. You feel like more substantial, right? You have uh, your heart rate is up. You can feel your, your, you know, your, your fingers are hot and your hands are hot. You just have that blood, blood circulation activated. You feel like your mind is clear. So all that happens when you do Tai Chi and Qigong. So what these energies and frequencies do is do that for you. And even as you're listening to this frequency that I'm playing right now, you're getting the actually a, a small, small therapy session right now just by being on this uh, live because I'm playing this frequency in the background. So these frequencies are pretty powerful just as a sound. Now you can just use them as a sound and you can get a pretty good therapy from it also. But once you connect them to the coil, then it just goes to another level of uh, effectiveness. B the BJ Vinci, how does it work and why are these sounds powerful? They're powerful because, um, for many reasons, it's because we know the exact frequencies that stimulate the brain. And we know the exact patterns of frequencies that stimulate the brain and different parts of your consciousness. All we did was just put it into digital form and make it available to you and make it emanated from, from devices like this. J. David, thanks. Love your personal story and technology research. Amazing invention. You're welcome. Thank you. And we are interested in that. That's great. All right. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to talking to all of you very soon, maybe meeting some of you in LA while I'm going to be there next week. Right, so use the chi and prosper.